I think it's time for your weekly chat with the mm. nation's highest executive oh. as we visit Mick Malloy's Celebrity Corner. <laughs> Thank you, one and all, and welcome once again to Mick Malloy's Celebrity Corner. Big hand for Gracie on the piano. Playing today using a couple of fingers he found in a ham sandwich he bought down the uh, deli at lunchtime. Now for my chit chat, on with the business. Well, Gareth Evans yesterday described John Howard as the incredible shrinking Prime Minister, meaning that over the last 12 months, Howard's international profile has been steadily shrinking. We've got the tiny Prime Minister on the line now. Are you there, Mr Howard? I'm not saying anything. Why? What's happened? It's been pointed out to me that whenever I come on your program, I end up sounding like a goose. <laughs> well, whose fault is that, Mr Goose? What? Mr what? Howard? Listen, whenever I go on the John Laws program, I get asked sensible questions about the economy or my 10-point WIC plan. Mm. Whereas whenever I talk to you, I come away sounding like some exaggerated cartoonish parody of myself. And of course, that's not right for someone who is, after all... The most powerful man in Australia. Exactly. See, you've done it again right, right. there. Oh, look, people aren't going to take my appearances on your program seriously, Vic Malloy, unless you start asking me some sensible questions. I don't understand, Mr Howard. Look, look, I've written down a mm. few comparisons. Check this out. Right. Last Tuesday on the John Laws program... Mr Howard, where do you stand with regards to native title? Last Tuesday on Martin Malloy, Mr Howard, how big's your bot bot? <laughs> well, what's the problem? The week before that, Laws, when was the last time you visited an Aboriginal community? Mm. Malloy, when was the last time you bumped uglies? The public has a right to know. April 29, <laughs> Laws, Mr Howard, do you think the situation at East Timor is a time bomb waiting to explode? Malloy, Mr Howard, do you reckon Posh Spice goes off like a firecracker in the sack? Laws would have asked that if he'd thought of it. There's more. <laughs> April 15, Laws, Mr Howard, when are you going to reveal your 10-point plan? Malloy, Mr Howard, show us your net. <laughs> Prime Minister, I doubt that I would have said nads on air. I would have possibly used plain old ghoulies or maybe cods. Oh, what's wrong with a good old-fashioned Australian knackers, I say? Please, Mr Howard, there could be kiddies listening. Oh, you've done it again. I come on here for a serious discussion and I'll end up in some pure old juvenile exchange about nads. Knackers. Bollocks. <laughs> That's what this show is. For three years, you've been dragging me down to your gutter level. All right, Mr Howard, let's talk about these comments of Gareth Evans. He calls you the shrinking Prime Minister. Yeah, well, come on, say it. What? Oh, my nads shrinking as well. Come have, on. Have you been reading my questions, Mr Howard? Why can't I be interviewed by that other one? Sorry? Every time I come on the show, he, he seems to just have to go out of the room for some reason. All right, I'll call him back if you want. Tone? Yes, Mick? Come over here and say hello to the Prime Minister. OK, Mick, you talented devil. Here he is, Mr Howard. Thank God, Mr Kennett. I mean, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I can't seem to get a single question out of Vic that doesn't involve sexual innuendo or bodily functions. Well, Mr Howard, mind if I ask you about your stance on Wick? Fire away. Well, when you make this stance, does your Wick hang to the left or the right? Goodbye.